Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we are going to be checking out the genetically modified overkill mod once again. Let's just take two characters and smash them together, all the positives and all of the negatives, to make a brand new one. Today, it is going to be one-armed, and uh, I messed myself up by doing that in reverse. One-armed and arms dealer, the one-armed dealer. So, I guess the weapon is going to be completely irrelevant, and I'll explain why. Uh, arms dealer, minus 95% weapon price, 30 harvesting up, damage modifications up by 33%. Get a free reroll every shop, and shops always sell a weapon. But every time we enter a shop, our weapons get destroyed. That is less relevant when you're playing one arm, two has 200% attack speed, damage modifications up by 100%, but you can only have one weapon. So, if all of your weapons get destroyed every shop, but you only need to buy one, it's not that big of a deal, really. So, uh... I think this will be pretty interesting. I think this won't be too shabby. This is one that would be absolutely gutted by the um, the modifier that this mod typically provides. That, again, is probably even nerfed by now. Uh, so who knows what's up with that. But either way, let us get probably some armor. Percentage damage in general sounds great. Five. So 5% gave us 11% damage up. Just sell that immediately. Not interested. Pick that up. Um, yeah, let's get some luck. You know, being able to find a really good weapon in every shop would be fantastic. Cyberball is really good on um, on one-armed. Getting luck-based items on one-armed is very good because, you know, scales really well with percentage damage. And it helps with the fact that you kind of can only target one type of enemy or one enemy at a time. Sort of. You know, obviously some weapons are different, but hey. Holy moly. Six damage at a base from Shredder is so... Attack speed is bad for us. Luck and percentage damage sound lovely. I'll buy another shotgun. Tree good. Lock a shotgun? I don't I don't need to upgrade it. Is the thing. Ugly tooth sounds nice enough for me. And we're done, sir. I don't know, it's kind of an easy flow chart, right? I I think typically the best way to play the arms dealer is to sort of try to focus on one type of damage, but then make sure you take all percentage damage upgrades and any kind of like extra damage. Like a like a cyberball or an elephant or I don't know, maybe like a... I was going to say repost. I mean, yeah, maybe a repost, but I meant like a... Maybe like a baby with a beard would be amazing. So I'm going to keep on taking luck. I actually might take piggy bank today too, because... maybe Yeah, baby elephant. Good. Sacred sausage. I know what I said. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for that, though. I don't think we can scale it up too much. Percentage can only go so far when you're doing the percentage on top of one damage, right? Hmm. But getting a lot of luck, wow, is very appealing for a couple reasons. The first of them being, we want our weapons that we buy and get the 95% discount on, we want them to be higher quality. They can eventually get, like, pretty expensive, all things considered. You know, whoop. Even with the 95% penalty, you can be like, ah, man, that much just for a weapon for one wave? Are you kidding me? But hey, at least you don't have to buy six every wave, right? That sure as hell helps. No. Six melee. I mean, I could. 24% damage. Well, over 24% damage picked up from that. Don't mind that. Um, I'll take range up, I suppose. I don't know if I want to lock a shredder this late. Fine. Life steal is pretty meh for one armed usually. Even with the massive attack speed increase, it's still not going to make up for the fact that you don't really have a whole lot going for you with like amount of hits. I'm really liking the extra luck pickups here. They're doing wonders for us. As they oft do on one armed. If you can get into the spot where you're killing random enemies off screen. 
every once in a while, you're in a good spot. And we're just going to be taking more and more luck, because I also want to be like, I don't know, I'd really like to get a baby with a beard, like I said. Um, piercing is good. Insanity, I, I take. Definitely take flat damage. I'll take percentage damage, too. Shredder, I guess. Uh, Shuriken is not ranged. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, I'll just keep another blue Shredder. If we can get good damage, like really good damage, Shredder's actually pretty good on this character. Uh, common Shredder sucks, though, because it has five base damage. We need, like, good flat damage for one arms to really be that exciting. So, but you also always have the issue of, like, well, I can't really hit that many targets, so Shredder helps with that, but isn't good at the flat. It's, I don't know. You really need a perfect set of something something for the uh, whoop, the one arm to have a weapon that doesn't suck. It needs to go pretty well. Ooh, a lot of boxes got to be checked off. I'm gonna take the six after that. Another insane. Am I tagged for crit? What's going on? Stop with the shredder. Uh, it's scary in a way because that's a lot of damage down, but that's too much harvesting over the course of the run. And it's also equally easy to get that damage back, right? Like that's kind of the fallacy of, uh, of taking, being scared to take a damage down on this character. The thing that's scary about it is exclusively just it's going to be really bad on this wave, right? It is equally as easy to get the plus eight damage again and turning it into the plus 16 or whatever uh, that we lost. Plus probably 18-ish, 19-ish maybe. If we live this wave, I think we'll be able to fix that deficit pretty quickly. And that, uh, that 40 harvesting will go a long way over the course of the run, especially... Since on um, uh, arms dealer, you need to roll a little bit more than normal. That's why that you get that free re-roll. Uh, Alienize is good. I feel like I maybe even passed one already. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> I I fixed my problem, just like that. Improved tools. Uh, big yes. I don't really want more Shredder. I'll take a Shady Potion, even though I really do want some HP regen. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. How much luck? 50 luck. Ooh! Pain! Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my man. Okay. Pain, 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 pain. Got the food. I think maybe uh, if we're going to be going this route and we're not picking up HP regen, which, to be clear, I don't want to really go that route. Ooh, then we need s some more uh, healing from food. I guess that could be... That could be our angle for healing, I, I guess. It's not benefit. I mean, it benefits from the attack speed increase from the thing, but it does not help uh, too much otherwise. Getting our regen out of the pit sounds nice. Fine. Max HP helps our alienize a lot. Silver bullet is very nice. Uh, oh, boy. I'll take another baby elephant for sure. I was tempted to sell and buy that Shredder for this wave instead, but I think a blue will be enough for a wave nine. I think it'll be enough. Oh, another baby elephant is beautiful here. Okay, we want to be a little bit reserved with when we... Pick up the stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my. I'd like that loot goblin boy, but to an extent, it's kind of up to the universe. Our single target is lacking. Oh my. Armor, please. Okay, I mean, running through a section that has lots of moolah for us, very, very helpful. Huh. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Three HP regen, sure. Nine max HP, yes. Coffee, feels a little silly. Padding? I am accruing a lot of money. The speed down is a little bit scary, though. All right, I'm, I'm getting out of this, this shredder business. I, I, uh, I don't want to risk triangle of power. This is interesting, but I'm not going to do it. And I don't know. Wave 10 scary. I'm glad I have a purple for it. The thing is, yeah, uh, Triangle of Power is very good, but if you start getting hit, you could, um... I'm making a really bold prediction at that point, basically, because if you start getting hit, you start losing a lot of damage really, really quickly. You can, you know, it gives you a situation where if you get hit enough times, like, I don't know. <laughs> this sounds so obvious, but if you get hit enough times, you lose, but I mean in a different way. Not just saying, like, your health was reduced to zero. It gives you a second lose condition, which is, like, almost like a poison counter in Magic the Gathering. Can we just, like, let's just pretend everybody definitely knows what that means so that I don't have to explain it more. Boop, 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 boop. It gives us a second lose state, almost, more or less. We could get hit, a, we could get hit and then heal up enough times that we eventually, uh, yeah. That we eventually just can't do enough damage anyways. Uh, plastic explosive could be good. Eh. I don't love what I just did. Eh, I'm not gonna go for the laser gun. Alright. Having two of those locked for sure for later sounds lovely. Why are we missing health? We don't have it. Did we get hit? Did we get hit the second we showed up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Glad those were bullet hits and not, like, physical contact hits. Trying to squeak some damage in there, man. I need to bait him. Whoa. He's literally just stuck in a crowd. I can't get him. He's so close to death, but I can't do anything about it. I'm so mad. Oh my god. He's stuck. Look at that. He's trying he's trying to get to me. He's like, "Please kill me. I can't." Uh Oh, this is a mistake. <sighs> okay. If I truly think it's a mistake, I could just buy this revolver and have a legendary. It sounds good to me. It's my speed. Minus eight. I need to fix that, too. All right. Okay, good. We're doing 45s on our luck blasts. That's pretty good. Not to mention, we have Cyberball too, right? Yeah. All right, all right. It was nice to go for the jump up on the uh, the revolver here, I'd say. Maybe we should just do it more often. Maybe we should just... I don't know. If I can get some more dangerous bunnies, that'd be divine. The guaranteed one weapon per shop is, is lovely. It's night and day. Like, we also did 
we got a pretty big jump up in our luck damage, so like obviously that's a big thing too. Like we got a lot of damage percentage and a lot of luck on that shop. Ow. I just need speed. I have a need, a need for speed. Loot goblin, it's not gonna die. Uh sure. Sure. Yes. 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 Um What's our crit chance? Sure. I just can't do it. Oh, piggy bank. You're a whole thing. I mean, I think a purple revolver should be good enough. Did I not lock a revolver? Oh, beans. I'd say a revolver is one of the better guns in the game, but it, it's not one of the better one-armed weapons, though, I'd say. I think we're fine to get something different. At this point, getting, like, a... A good old multi-target, like, I mean, aka just give me, like, a slingshot would be great. How much range damage do we have? We don't even have that much range damage, considering. Less has been offered to us than I would like. Okay. Did I even get hit there? I think I got hit and then immediately healed. Seven armor? Huh. Yes. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Crit chance up. Can I have some range damage, please? Hey, hey, hey. Fine. I need a gun. Oh, God. That's not a great one. That'll do. Peacock on that wave. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, of all the waves to get it on, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm feeling too confident about what I just did. But if we can make it through this wave, we're in a great spot. Like, a lot of attack speed is more or less going to be getting wasted. Okay, the, the Relic pulling in all of the money is good on this run. It's not good. I would say on average, it's not going to be that good on a luck run, usually. On a lucky run. Because there's usually going to be um, lulls where you wish that you saved your money to kind of burst somebody else. But that no such situation is happening today we are always with enemy on screen always with enemy on screen so it's gonna be good i think this is actually gonna be a good run for it no no sure finally some range damage nine dodge i can't pass that up uh <laughs> uh i'll take it on prospect for later i guess All right Experience gains a little bit late. Part of me wants, part of me doesn't. It's good, but slow, right? It's a little bit weird. I actually, I don't know. It's weird. You would think it'd be amazing, amazing, but I think it's like fine. Uh, there's a damage down for us as well. I'm going to say nope. There's range. Range is high. I'll get some more speed. Speed damage. All right. All right. I think we've uh, we gotten to a good spot here. Purple SMG is going to be helpful. Glad we got that revolver locked. Not because I'm going to use that specific revolver, but we can re-roll and we can hopefully get up to like an epic or something. Maybe have a little bit more hope. This has been... Uh, it's been a challenge for sure. Like, this is no freebie. I can say that with confidence. This has to be a horde wave. Please, for the love of God, tell me this was a horde wave. 
it's certainly been a challenge run. I think we'll be able to scale it into a very strong run by the end. Okay, but I think it's going to have taken a long time to get there. Uh, new. How about new? Oh boy. Hunting trophy? It's a little late. Dude, wait, how many tentacles do we have? We have five? We got max tentacles? God, we need crit so bad. Uh. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I have that's right. I have the recycle mod. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use it for for evil. I'm literally just using it for the uh, the mod thing. Get rid of the ooh. Get rid of the one mod thing from GMO. All right, all right. We've uh, we've scaled. Why don't wait? Why have we scaled? No, it's just it's wave sixteen. Wave 16 is notoriously good for uh, luck damage builds. There's less enemies spawning, making it better. So that's why I was considering maybe buying White Flag when it showed up, just because of how good luck runs get with less enemies. You know, hence the Jack and Lucky run. Kind of making it a little bit obvious. But yeah, we are totally... You can also see on this wave how um, absorbing every material to our body is not great for this. It, it's fine here, but like, you know, there were sections of the wave where we absorbed money we didn't need. I mean, you always take that, even this late. Because we're just gonna get a lot of armor for free, right? Am I wrong? Wait. Does it work really well or does it work terribly? Which one is it? I'm gonna upgrade that. Obliterator? Very curious. Man. Just... Do I just say who cares about the uh, HP regen? Just get more armor? Yeah. Yeah. I got didn't drop any money. This is, it's an interesting run for sure. Swapping between all your stuff like this, you know? But it feels a little bit like we have a little bit more run identity than normal uh, arms dealer, ironically. Because you only have one weapon, so you can kind of like... You can kind of force... You could force a weapon more. Like if I was really... Ooh, really, really, really... 23 armor. Okay, that makes sense. I was worried I was... That weird bug was happening again where I'm taking less damage than I'm supposed to. Oh no, heavens to Betsy. What, whatever would I do if I was taking less damage than I'm supposed to? But I have a lot of armor. That's just why. Okay. Nope. Absolutely. Uh, at this point, yeah. Screw it. Armor good. Man, why does heavy bullets give a crit chance down? Why? Also, why do I want it anyways? Alright, well, we're gonna have to fish for a random weapon. Oh. <laughs> this is so slow. It's just too slow. We have to manual aim it. I gotta admit, it's very fun, though. It's very fun on one arm when we're gonna be manual aiming it. Man. We would probably want some range up with this. Oh, boy. I gotta admit, it, it, it's as good as it was for killing the boss in a very quick, funny way. 
I am so glad to be switching to a faster weapon after this. It's, it's just too hard to manage. Uh, no, I love my crit chance. No. Um, I guess so? No? The speed is interesting. It, it's not bad. Extra stomach? Uh, it's such a big increase to my health at this point. It's 10, 10 health for 268 bucks. Basically, this with no downside, sort of, it's, it's not bad. I need a weapon. Rip and tear's a bit too... Eh. Right now. I'll lock that. Oh, yoy, boy, yoy, yoy. Well, I think we'll be okay, just because I think shotgun is going to be a lot better for us on this, and... There's lots of small enemies that are easy to kill. Want to pick up all the food. Get our free 10 L. Uh oh. Get our free 10 L. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, was that it? Are we capped now? Uh oh. Yes, we are capped. Okay, good. We got our 10 health from that. Uh, you know, we'll squeak out whatever we can get on the final boss, but, like, I would buy, I would buy that knowing full well that it was, like, just, like, 10 health. It's just such a good item. Even getting it super late like that, it's still good. And that is so telling about how strong it is. Uh, yeah. Would have been nice to have more of those earlier. Okay. All right, fine. All right. Y fine. Ya got me. This is so stupid on this weapon. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This has been Brotato. Uh, if you'd be sad to see the series go, you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Check out the channel for rolling some more every single day. If you have a suggestion for a combination of characters, comment it down below. Thumbs up all the other ones that you think seem interesting to you. Any character that has a plus arm and a character that has a minus arm cannot be combined together. Keep that in mind. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Like I said, rolling some more every single day. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>